we had a student who had a lot of anger issues. The two main um, graduation requirements, one is that the student has to be aware that they're in charge of their lives mm. and aware of being responsible for their actions. Mm. And the reason we have the word awareness in there is because we don't expect the students to have completely healed all of their all of their stuff, but just to be aware, just to have the awareness, and that that's good enough to become an adult. Mm -hmm. But we had a student with really bad anger issues, mm -hmm. and we just couldn't get him to talk about it in his thesis. Oh, okay. Which is which is the way people show. That's how you show that you're aware of these things by I by see. writing it into their thesis. It's very similar to Sudbury Valley, only mm -hmm. we're we're much more specific in what we're asking for. We, we have a much more detailed graduation process mm -hmm. that that takes a year. That I'm actually kind of proud of. Nice. And we had a student who you know just would could not acknowledge his his anger issues. And we had no way, you know, to make him do it. And so after he graduated, you know, we, we all felt a little uncomfortable mm. about him graduating. And so what we did is we changed the graduation requirements. We had a third requir requirement uh -huh. that the student needs to be aware of their major emotional issues. Mm. So, and the interesting thing is if you combine the three requirements together with writing the thesis, then the student has to talk about their major issues without right. blaming anybody. Mm. That's what you have to do to graduate. Hmm. And that in that way, the school became a better place because yep. of a, a student who created a challenge. This is the Agentic Schools podcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. I'm your host, Don Berg.